Hello and welcome to day 3 of the Twisted League. I just got 55 magic, which means I can now use High Alk, which is going to be really good for money. If I get rune items from clue scrolls that I don't need, I will alk them and get money for more runes and stuff like that. I actually got my first hard clue scroll, and also by the way, look at all these uh, herbs that I have in my inventory. So good, these Twisted Banshees for that. So on my third step, I have to kill this level 100 plus Saradomin Wizard, which I am really unsure how to do. I don't know if I even can can at this point. Going to do my best to get protection prayer aka 37 magic prayer to be able to kill the wizard. It seems to be the only way I can really deal with the wizard actually. Just thought I'd make a fun attempt and drop some lobsters on the ground here that I fished. I got some lobsters done in fishing and uh, let's see what the uh, hits are. Okay 13 hits. My death runes is hitting pretty heavy though uh, but the problem is uh, I don't know if I can actually eat enough and actually get hits in because as you know you can't actually eat when you hit at the same time so and the poison ticks for six yeah this is going to be a struggle I mean maybe it is doable uh, we will have to see so it was not doable I was fairly close it had like 40 HP left or 35 or something but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to try to get 37 prayer and I'm going to get points for my third relic so I get the double experience in prayer and all combat stats so I can get it pretty nicely and fast. 40 rune crafting incoming and I think that should be enough points yes it will be enough points to get my double combat experience. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, here we go. And I do have two ensouled heads in my bank, which gives with us 6.5k prayer experience each. So that's going to be absolutely huge. Look at this experience drop incoming. I'm 22 prayer right now. This is pretty much more than going to double my experience, I think. Yeah, 29 prayer from one ensouled head. That is insane. So I went back to hill giants and I got another ensouled head for my 37 prayer so I should be able to kill the Saradomin wizard now. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go. It is dead. Let's see if we get the casket now. Let's uh, dig here. Oh, it's not the casket just yet. And I have to kill another one. Come on, dude. Well, with chaos runes and flicking prayer, uh, I just barely died. 7 HP left on the wizard, but... It's definitely doable. Alright, here we go. This definitely should be the casket. It doesn't have to be, but it should probably be around this step. There we go. Okay, first hard casket on the account. I am so hyped for this. Let's see what the first clue is going to give us. Oh, dude, that is so good ranged equipment. And nature runes for Alex and everything. Okay, dude, that is so good. I'm going to do more clues in the future and I'm not doing much of melee right now. So I'm actually going to alk the plate skirt for a ton of money for runes. It's going to be so useful. Look at that. This is how many runes I could buy with that money. That is 3000 fire strike casts. Nice. Of course, the reason to why I wanted to buy all those runes is to finish my Banshee task and second hard clue incoming. By the way, uh, it says 111 Banshees left on the top, but I actually have less than that left. I might have like 80 or something because in the morning now it is, by the way, I woke up recently and I did some on my mobile phone and it doesn't track then because I don't have a Slayer gem. Okay, this is ridiculous. Look at this. I'm going to check how many steps I've done right now. I have done five steps, so the one I'm on now is the sixth one, and I have had two Saradomin Wizards, and the third, or the last one, is a Saradomin Wizard as well. They are by far the hardest step to do here on uh, Zaya. It costs me like 35 death runes every single kill, which is roughly like 4k coins. So I will have to pick some guards before I can buy more death runes because I only have 8 left. I have uh, quite a lot of nature runes though, so I might actually alk a few of those. Okay, this is really nice that I just discovered. If I don't get poisoned and I prayer flick pretty well, I can actually kill the Saradomin wizard with only fire strike. It just takes a while, but this is going to be the casket, so... Let's get it and hopefully I can get some good reward, some pretty good gear or some alkyballs at least so I can get more runes. Oh, oh dude, Vandal's Coif. Oh, this is so good. And a rune axe. Oh, my. okay, dude, this is, and a rune pickaxe. This, I could not have got a better clue reward. This is insane. With that, I'm actually really considering maybe doing ranged because I have this setup, which is just really nuts. 
And I have the rune pickaxe as well that is going to make it so much easier to do mining instead of the bronze pickaxe. That's kind of why I didn't want to do uh, ranged in the first place because you have to get all these ores for uh, the knives. I want to use knives all the way to 70. But with that, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it actually. So I will be using steel knives. But yeah, just one mining level and then I can use a rune pickaxe. Look at this, rune pickaxe. Look at all these bronze pickaxes. And I'm just rolling with my rune pickaxe. Still taking quite a while with these coal though, but 43 mining and I'm going to get probably quite a few levels here. I'm going to just smith uh, the bars, the steel bars all the way to 37 and then I can make steel knives. Probably not going to get that many steel knives though, which is the problem, but we will have to see. I might have to go back here and get even more in the future. Okay, so I have a total of 300 and with these... 84 iron knives that I had made from before and I have 405 steel knives So I'm actually going to probably use them on Hill giants or moss giants leaning mostly towards moss giants right now And maybe we can get some loot and also some banging range experience. So I'm 19 now Let's use all these knives and see where I end up. Wait, this actually might be doable with the amount of knives that I have. With the 10 times experience in ranged, I am getting these levels so fast. I'm currently 40 and I'm still on my iron knives. If I pick all these up, I will still have like 250 of them. And I then also have all my steel knives, which will be even faster experience. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. Maybe not all the way to 70, but I should get very close to it at least. So looking at the experience, I am at 100,000 experience now after I am pretty much done with my iron knives. I have 18 plus these, so like 40 left or something like that. And uh, I need roughly 600,000 experience because I am 600,000 here on, uh, or actually more like 700,000 experience, but I need 600,000 more experience. So it is going to be maybe a struggle with these steel knives, but we can at least get as close as possible and then we can just always get more knives. So what I'm actually going to do is, I'll probably, by the way, after these knives and that like 59 range or something like that, I'm actually going to train my fletching and woodcutting because I want to get a bow instead. And I need 69 fletching anyways to be able to make a rune crossbow when I get my tier 70 armor, which is going to be my first goal. Uh, combat wise gear and so on. Oh nice 42 slayer as well on uh, on top of that But yeah after this I will actually uh, get a bow instead and I will make steel arrows because you get more quantities uh, Compared to knives in ammo and I will level all the way to 70 that way instead I'm considering maybe making a maple or a maple bow or a U. We will have to see what happens, but yeah, that's pretty much my plan right now I actually still can't believe how lucky I was to get both a rune axe and a rune pickaxe in the same clue scroll. It is going to help me on this level 70 range grind and getting all the equipment I need for it so much. I have a lot of coal mining to do for the steel arrow tips that I need. So I'm actually going to get 30% uh, favor in this house that I can't pronounce. So I can actually use all these coal rocks right here that are really close to the bank. Using the other ones is really slow compared to this. That took a while, but I got 57 mining all the way from 48, so really good gains. But now I should be able to mine here. Let's see if I can. Yes, I can. So I have a bunch of coal rocks here. I think I'm going to get 300 and then 150 iron ore. The iron ore will be really fast to get. The coal is uh, what's going to take a while. But I get back to you guys when I have all of that and we can make a bunch of arrows. 2300 steel arrows almost that should definitely be enough for 70 ranged and even maybe more than that uh, So yeah, let's fletch all these and get that experience is just nuts 375 per 15 quite a lot of fletching experience Okay, let's uh, make use of these now and uh, finish my slayer assignment and get some nice loot Hopefully brimstone key and mystic gloves dark in the same drop that is going to be my only gloves I can really use and I also bought the slayer boots from Kona so that's good just using a few of the many herbs that I have banked from twisted banshees and the experience is pretty nuts I was three when I started and I will probably end at like 20 or something like that uh, I don't really have that many secondary regions so that is my main problem why I haven't really used them that much Finally, I have uh, completed the Banshee task and I have 66 ranged and I have quite a lot of arrows left. So I have two brimstone keys. Let's get some good loot, hopefully. First one. Oh, that is exactly what I did not want. 
Oh, but that is perfect. Okay, money. That is probably the best thing I can get. Uh, either alkyballs or money. Okay, um, so I can choose from these assignments. So I'm going to take Sulfur Lissage, I think. Because the drops is pretty good smithing-wise, I, I do believe at least. So this is post-commentary on this clip. Uh, I did actually pick another assignment and I didn't realize why there was only like five options every time. I had to talk to Kona and unlock the other options because my combat level was so low, but yeah, that's done. Probably the hardest medium step you can get, full adamant, and there's like no way to get it except for medium clues. 1000 total reached, I really want to get to the next relic as soon as possible by the way, because the clue drop rate increase is so huge that I want. So this is what I've been waiting for this entire video pretty much, 70 ranged incoming and my damage is really starting to feel uh, pretty decent. Even with this gear that I have on right now, it's going to be pretty damn crazy when I have the ranged setup I'm about to equip now. Look at this gear. Upgraded all the way to Black Dehyde with Vandal's Coif. Now I just need a magic short bow, which I will probably hunt from hard clue scrolls. Pretty damn sweet setup. So now I can choose from all these different tasks and I will definitely choose Undead Druids. They give us so good supplies and they are very good for ranging. There is an altar literally just beside them and I'm going to buy a bunch of broad arrows with the money as well because that is pretty much buyable ammo. That's the only ranged buyable ammo in the entire game. You do actually need a magic shortbow to be able to use these, but when I do get one, I have 2000 arrows to use. So all I'm doing really is just standing here with magic protect and uh, the eagle eye or whatever it's called, the 10% ranged increase, and I kill one and then I go and pray on the altar. Easy, easy, free prayer. Okay, so I have 56 left and I am at soon 75 ranged, so the range experience is really, really good here as well. You can see how consistently I'm hitting as well. The kills are pretty fast. And I'm about to get 55 Slayer pretty soon as well, it's 735 Slayer experience every single kill. But this is where I'm going to end the video, I got my goal of the sweet range setup. The only thing, as I said, that I'm really missing that I want is the magic shortbow, and that will be the goal of the next video. At least one of the goals. But uh, what I want to do to achieve that is I want to do clue scrolls for it and I am fairly close, I mean I have quite a bit left but I'm fairly close to the next relic where I can get a clue scroll in every 10 kills that I do and I'm probably going to kill hellhounds for that or something like that and then just do a bunch of hard clues until I get the magic shortbow which really shouldn't be that many. So anyways if you did like the video please leave a like and if you want to see more of my Twisted League videos and stuff like that then make sure to subscribe so you know when I post them. Okay, see ya in the next one.